Hi, this is Jim Bergman with TrueTech Tools, and today I'd like to introduce Fieldpiece Wireless. If you've been in the HVAC industry for any time at all, there's parts of your job that just suck. And those parts are crawling through attics, going through crawl spaces, going up ladders, trafficking through a house, anything you have to do to go get a measurement, because the measurement's not where you need it. So today I want to show you how you can take any a, a Fieldpiece Wireless transmitter, hook it to any Fieldpiece Wireless head, sync it up with a wireless receiver, and we can get wireless where we need it. One of the most common readings that we need is wet bulb temperature. We really need wet bulb outdoors at the condenser so we can calculate our target superheat required. So what I have here is a Fieldpiece ARH5 digital psychrometer and I paired it up to a Fieldpiece transmitter. So I just snap those two together. Now what I want to make sure of before I use the, the wireless head is that I've taken off the little dust cover right here and I put the auto off switch to off. I turned auto off off so it does not shut off while I'm uh, getting my readings outside of my condenser. After you turn that off, put the dust cover back on here and uh, now we're, now we're going to get this set up to work for wireless wet bulb. Okay, making all this work is really easy. So all I want to do here, I'm going to set my my psychrometer up to measure wet bulb temperature, so I have that set to wet bulb. I'm going to turn my index psychrometer head on, turn my ET2W to DC, and then I'm turning my wireless accessory handle here to receive. And you see it sync comes up. I press and hold the sync key here, hold the sync key here, and you'll see it start to flash. And now we've got wet bulb temperature. All right, so now that we got the meter synced, I got the uh, I got the, the wireless head hooked up. Just want to show you a couple things here. They've done a great job. They put magnets on the back of everything here, so I can clip this down on my ductwork. It's going to hold there. It's not going to vibrate off or slide off the unit. I've got my psychrometer head uh, into my duct here. I can extend this down so I can get into the airstream, and I'm all set to go. I've got my wireless reading here, 67.7. I'm going to go ahead and turn, turn my cooling on, and let's get an idea of how far of a distance we can go. Here on the ground now, we've got the wireless wet bulb hooked up. You can see we've got our radio signal. We've got a couple bars there, and we're showing uh, 64.5 degrees. I'm going to give you an idea of the distance right now we're at, and uh, I've got a laser distance meter up top here. And you can see, if you look close, there's a laser up there on that light. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that, and we're about 38 feet from that light. So let's get an idea about how far this thing will really go. All right, so we're 38 feet away from the garage and uh, I just shot this again here so we still have a wireless wet bulb at 64.3 and now I'm 103 feet away from the opening now we got an open garage door here so let's see how this thing works around the building okay as you can see here I still have a wireless wet bulb signal and just to give you an idea where we're at here okay we're so about 150 feet away from the opening in the garage door here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk back here and see if we still have our signal Okay, so now we're out behind our building, and uh, just to give you an idea of the distance again here. Here's the uh, the back of the building here. We're behind the far side, and uh, we still have really, really good signal. So we're going to give this a shot again. Okay, so now we're down to one bar, and uh, it's periodically losing the signal. If I uh, turn, though, just like I am here, I can get a great signal still. And you can see, uh, let me re refocus this here, how far away we are from our building. So the wireless, field piece wireless works great and uh, you should have no problem getting it uh, anywhere near your condenser. So just in case you're curious if it really works next to the condenser, you know, maybe uh, interference from electrical or anything like that. You know, I'm standing down here at my condensing unit now, mounted on the, mounted on the building here, behind the building, and uh, you know, we got our wireless wet bulb reading right out here. So pretty slick stuff. Okay, so I got my wireless wet bulb reading up here, but I also wanted to get uh, temperature drop across my coil so I could get my split. So what I did here is I have a uh, K-type thermocouple. I stuck down a duct. I'm using one of the plugs to hold it in so I make sure it doesn't fall out while I'm working. And if you go over here, I have a uh, differential temperature uh, thermometer set up to uh, T1 minus T2 and a second K-type thermocouple going across into my supply duct of my system. So now what I've got here is I've got a wireless uh, receiver that we're looking at here reading returner wet bulb and then I have my 
uh, clamp probe reading temperature split 20.6 degrees. So let's take a look at these and we'll go out the condenser and we'll try these together. So now we're standing back out here at the condensing unit. I've got my return air wet bulb temperature 64.5 and I've got my split temperature right here. And one of the questions I'm sure you got is, well what happens if you turn the meter off? All right? If we turn the meter off and then turn it back to receive, it's going to resync with that probe to find it and then we're back at 22.5. I could go into other readings, microfarads, microamps, you go into hertz or anything I want to go into, volts DC, AC and you know, even, even operate my non-contact voltage probe and it's going to be fine when I go back to receive it will sync with that probe again and pick up that reading right so also it's nice with the SC57 here if I clamp it on you know, obviously I can't see it right there I can turn that so I can see it easily and I've got my temperature split handy at all times the field PCH4W is rated at 75 feet we're easily able to get over 300 feet out of the unit uh, the, the trick to getting good distance out of any wireless is to make sure you have the transmitter or the antenna up as high as possible. Again, Field Peace has got magnets on the back of this thing so we can clip this to any head and, have, and put that up as high as we want to get it. Works great with uh, like this induct psychrometer because again, I can take this, I can mount it up uh, on the ductwork, up high in the ductwork, and I have, because I have the remote cord here, I can put it wherever I want to have it. When you purchase it, it comes with this wireless receiver and it comes with a wireless transmitter. If you purchase a second transmitter, you're able to actually use the second transmitter as a repeater. So you can actually send a wireless signal to this and it will rebroadcast it to the handle. So you can double your distance if you need to. It works great for things like rooftop units uh, where you might want to go downstairs in a commercial building and you need a little extra distance or you maybe have some wireless uh, some frequencies in the area that are disrupting the wireless frequency. So it, very, very easy to use. If you end up doing this route, which is the SC57, you get the SC57 clamp meter and you get the wireless transmitter. So you're going to need a head, something to clip this to. And I don't care whether you use current, airflow, CO, humidity, differential temperature, whatever you want to do, it's going to just show up on the meter just like it would on any other field, field piece accessory head. So very cool, very inexpensive, very fun to use. Uh, the, the applications are limited to your imagination. And I hope you got a little bit out of this video. Uh, if you got any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments box below. And please, if you would, uh, favorite us and subscribe to the videos because we like to do these. And uh, we'd like you to know when we have the next one come out. This is Jim Bergen with True Tech Tools. Thanks a lot for watching.